The company uh, that I represent today is called Inkers. I am the chairperson of that company. It was a graduate from the Muru D uh, Accelerator Program, Class 2, um, in 2015. Muru D is uh, an accelerator owned by the, uh, the Australian company Telstra, um, but it involves many people in its program and uh, so it selects in each intake 10 companies who come into the program and then uh, it uh, educates those companies um, on how to be a successful startup company. Hey there. Sure. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just resetting. As you say, the idea of an accelerator is to compress into six months what would have been, to, if you had done it by yourself, um, a year or two years. And so there's, there's probably two main elements of that. The first element is that the Telstra provide, gets in people to teach um, particular subjects. Another class might be, how do you put together an investment memorandum to raise capital. It's my observation, uh, because I am a, a, an angel investor in um, startups from Australia, I see perhaps three to four hundred startup uh, a year, and of them, uh, my guess is that about a hundred have potential markets in China. What I'm just saying there is that. Um, there are some, with the change in composition of the Chinese economy away from manufacturing through to more services, the, the opportunities for Australians in, in the B to B to C area are more in areas like education, travel, healthcare. So like Inca's, which is a good example, was founded by two Iranian uh, gentlemen. Um, they uh, uh, realised that the Chinese market was very large and so they did a couple of very smart things. First thing they did was they employed a lot of Chinese Australian staff. So Cetro um, were very helpful. Um, to be frank, amongst all of the municipal governments, um, Cetro was the most helpful. Um, so Cetro um, organised uh, the three days that the companies were in Shenzhen and uh, showed people around um, various parts of Shenzhen. This product is from the Inca's company, which is a graduate of the Murudi Accelerator. And they have developed a product that allows a person to write on normal paper and have that appear on one computer and on many other computers and for teachers and students to interact using this product. Inkers um, is a, um, uh, it has subsequently entered into a relationship with a Shenzhen company. The Shenzhen company is producing um, the hardware for the Inkers product and the team here in Sydney, Australia are developing all the software. And that, um, that relationship uh, was developed as a result of the visit to Shenzhen. Many of the entrepreneurs we took to China um, after they had visited a number of cities said that Shenzhen would be the one where they would feel happy to um, relocate and raise a family. And so Cetra is always here and always interacting with the startup community and this is an advantage over the other tier one cities and the tier two cities in China. So I think for uh, the uh, cost of Cetro uh, is significant, but it is a worthwhile investment to position Shenzhen as the place where you do smart hardware um, and have that in everybody's mind in Australia. I think it would be great to be young and have the opportunity to interact uh, between places like uh, Sydney, 
and Shenzhen and to get teams that are diverse and can take on global problems.